All right, for today's video, uh, I'm doing kind of a vlog thing. I don't do these very often, but uh, today I just kind of wanted to go basically go through my normal day and uh, kind of show you guys some of the things I'm doing. I've got some things I need to take care of uh, with winter and all that stuff kind of breathing down my neck a little bit. Um, I'm also gonna go meet my buddy Pete, do a little bit of skating, and we'll also check out some of the turtles that are active right now. Hopefully we'll see some of them, you know, maybe running around the yard. Well, right now, I am just heading to the skate park to meet my buddy Pete. I like to try and skate a few times a week. Um, basically, I treat the skate park like a gym. I try to get it in when I can. I'm, I'm getting old, but it works out. All right, so I just made it here to the park. Usually what I like to do is warm up, uh, just kind of pumping around, rolling around the park. Then I might start on uh, doing some flat ground. And then um, hopefully by then my buddy will be here and we'll start kind of messing around with filming some stuff. So I just skated with Pete. Uh, we kind of did some basic stuff and some warm ups. You know, we like, we like to just kind of come here and mess around, but it's a good time every, pretty much every time. It was fun. Uh, we also filmed like some three trick lines. Uh, he likes to post those on his Instagram where we kind of both do something, same amount of tricks, same kind of line. So uh, that was fun as well. Now it's time for me to get on with the rest of my day. I've got some things I need to do at home. So let's head that direction. But first, let's go get ourselves a iced coffee. I don't know why I said it like that. That's... <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Yeah, can I get a small iced coffee with cream? Small iced coffee cream only? Yep. Anything else? That's it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you too. All right. So now I've made it back home, and now that I'm back home, one of the things I need to do is take care of all these leaves we want to sweep those up uh, kind of pull them back uh, pretty cool I'm, I'm stoked to see some turtles basking today uh, it is a little bit warmer so uh, we've got a couple river cooters there a painted turtle a river cooter a rio grande cooter a florida cooter over there got my trusty iced coffee they're gonna be under all this leaf litter here we go Kofosco right here, back in this back corner. He's just enjoying this little bit of sunshine that's coming through the back back here. And uh, that's what these guys do. They're gonna go inactive on the coldest days, but then on the warmest days, they like to kind of poke their heads back up. So uh, really stoked to see this guy. This is one of the older Gulf Coast box turtles. And uh, it's always a pleasure to see this guy. He's gonna duck back because I walked up on him, but um, really awesome turtle. You can see he just really blends in with those leaves too. Um, those plain colors, those browns, they really bl blend in with all those fallen leaves. And the way these guys kind of tuck back into leaves, they're really well camouflaged. But really cool to see him taking advantage of the warm weather. Let's see if anybody else is out. We got one here. This guy's in a little hole that a Sulcutta made. He's kind of hidden in there sideways. Elephant ears have not enjoyed the cold. And we'll be piling up some more leaves at the base of those as well. Hey baby. Hey baby. Baby baby. Come on. Are you hungry? Are you hungry?
เห็นไหมเห็นไหมเห็นไหมเห็นไหมเห็นไหมเห็นไหมเห็นไหมเห็นไหม Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Last hour, then you are. Yeah, hungry. Yeah, just tell you. Yeah, hungry. Dad, let me put your bird down, please. Yeah. Yeah, hey, hello. <laughs> So yesterday morning I woke up to very sad news and that was that my friend and somebody that I have a lot of respect for and that I look up to, Fred Grunwald had passed away. Um, I, I don't really know exactly what to say about this and I don't know how to put together any thoughts other than just saying what an amazing person he was. Uh, he was in my life for a very short period of time. We got to meet through friends and from the day that we met we were, you know, We got along really well, and that's something that everybody that has ever known Fred would probably tell you the same thing, that from the moment they meet him, he is, he was just the nicest guy. Uh, just welcoming, welcomed you to his place, happy to show you everything he had, happy to give you anything that he could. Um, he was just an amazing person, um, and someone that I, I'm very thankful to have known. Um, you know, like, he, really wanted everybody to to be the best that they could be. I remember he would talk to me about the, you know, there's no secret that not everybody in the reptile world or in the YouTube world gets along. And he would talk about how he wanted to get everybody together uh, at his place and they all had to get along uh, because he wanted them to. Um, and he would talk about uh, <laughs> just, uh, you know, just funny stories. You know, part of going to Fred's is you would sit there and you'd just sit around in the little chairs and just hang out and hear stories from Fred, from anybody that was visiting. Um, it was just a very warm and um, relaxed place to, to go over there. And I think it was all because of him. And um, all of his animals were healthy, well cared for. He had had animals that have lived there for, you know, 40 years or something like that. So. Um, he was definitely who I think we all should aspire to be. Um, you know, when I, when I got my place and I looked around at, at what I had and the space that I had to work with, um, I had seen a lot of Fred stuff in different videos and different people's, you know, kind of visits with his place and it seemed very, uh, to me, laid out in a way that I could do something similar and replicate in a way. And so my, my yard has, has been inspired by what Fred did and going and visiting him and every time I would come back I would feel uh, so inspired because his setups were so mature, uh, the plant life, all the animal life there, just everything had been there so long and just grown in to become a, a big cohesive, you know, uh, environment for everything and it just, um, it was all just testament to the type of person that Fred was, the hard work that he put in. Um, Anything, any adversity that came his way, it was like he just plowed right through it and he was eager to get back home and start working on his setups. Um, and he was always, um, especially like when I would talk to him, he was always like really eager uh, to learn. You know, he, he, the guy had, you know, over 50 years of knowledge of what he was doing, but always made time to listen to anybody else that had, you know, different experiences or uh, maybe field experience, maybe stuff outside of the hobby side. So he was a really incredible person, really kind, um, and I'm, I'm thankful I got to meet him and I am, I'm gonna miss him a lot. He was uh, just, he was the best. So um, I just wanted to say something about Fred and uh, I think that's it. I just want everybody to know what a great person he was and that um, I think we should all try to be a little bit more like Fred. Thank you guys for watching this video. Peace.